story time. Because it's finally fall, we get to do all kinds of fall themed story times. Today's story time isn't necessarily fall themed, but for a lot of families, going to a farm or going to an orchard to pick fruit or apples or something like that is usually done in the fall time. So today, like I just said, we are going to talk about going on the farm and all the animals that come on a farm. It's going to be lots of fun. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and do our hello song. So go ahead, stand up and sing a dance with me. Day. So, like we always do at the start of story time, we're going to learn how to say the word farm in two different languages. The first is American Sign Language, because like we learned a couple of weeks ago, if you can't hear with your ears, you use your hands to talk. So in American Sign Language, to say the word farm, you take, well, I'm going to use my right hand, you take whichever, whichever hand you like to write with, you take your thumb, you touch your jaw, and you trace your jaw to the other side of your face like this. So for farm, it is farm. Let's do it one more time together. Farm. Good job. In Spanish, the word farm is granja. Can you guys say that with me? Granja. Good job. Let's get on to our first story. For our first story, we're going to read a story time favorite. Pete the Cat, Old MacDonald Had a Farm by James Dean. This is going to be fun. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. Was a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some dogs, E-I-E-I-O, with a wolf wolf here and a wolf wolf there, here a wolf, there a wolf, everywhere a wolf wolf. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and a turtle. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, he's driving me right by truck. We'll get to that later on in the story time. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some horses, E-I-E-I-O. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. -E 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some cats, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here meow, there meow, everywhere meow meow, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some goats, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Mm -hmm. How many ducks do you see? I see one, two, three, four. We'll, we'll also count our piggies later on in the story time. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some turkeys. E-I-E-I-O. With a gobble gobble here and a gobble gobble there. Here a gobble, there a gobble, everywhere a gobble gobble. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some roosters. E-I-E-I-O. With a cockle-doodle here and a cockle-doodle there. Here a cockadoodle, there a cockadoodle, everywhere a cockadoodle. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And look, the turtle's just kind of hanging out with him on the tractor. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm, he had some donkeys. E I E I O. With a hee haw here and a hee haw there. Here a hee-haw, there a hee-haw, everywhere a hee-haw. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ma-ma here and a ma-ma there. Here a ma, there a ma, everywhere a ma-ma. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some frogs, E-I-E-I-O. With a ribbit, ribbit here, and a ribbit, ribbit there. Here a ribbit, there a ribbit, everywhere ribbit, ribbit. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I don't think I see out too many farms with frogs on them. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some geese, E-I-E-I-O. With a honk honk here and a honk honk there. Here a honk, there a honk, everywhere a honk honk. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's see here, let's see if we can find all the animals. We have the geese, we have the horses and the donkeys. We have the sheep and the roosters and the ducks, the pigs, the uh, turkeys, the turtles, the frogs. We have the cats and the dogs and the and the goats and the cows. That is a busy farm. The end. I love Feed the Cat stories. Aren't they so much fun? And because Feed the Cat decided to introduce us to all kinds of animals that you see on the farm, for our next two rhymes, we are gonna be talking some more about those animals. So first, what animal is this? You are correct. This is a rooster. So, over in the barnyard early in the morning, see the loud roosters standing in a row. See the busy farmer giving them their breakfast. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! And off they go. <laughs> what about this animal? What is this animal? It's a pig. Good job. Let's say the rhyme again. Over in the barnyard early in the morning, see the pink piggies standing in a row. 
see the busy farmer giving them their breakfast. Oink, 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 and off they go. And what about this animal? What do you guys think this animal is? It's a cow, good job. So over in the barnyard early in the morning, see the spotted cows standing in a row. See the busy farmer giving them their breakfast. Moo, moo, and off they go. Last but not, not least, what is this animal? Good job, it's a horse. So over in the barnyard early in the morning, see the soft horses standing in a row. See the busy farmer giving them their breakfast. Nay, nay, and off they go. Let's see, so let's go over the animals that we just talked about. Let's see here, we have Loud roosters. What sound do the roosters make again? That's right. Cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo. And we have soft pink piggy saying oink, 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 oink. And we have spotted cow saying moo, moo. And then we have soft horses saying nay, nay. Good job. But speaking of horses, we are going to do a fun rhyme called Old, Old, We're Walking Old Joe. So go ahead, sail on up, and I want you to do what I do. First, let's talk about horses. Sometimes they walk slow, sometimes they walk kind of, sort of, slowish, fastish, and sometimes they run really fast. So we're going to practice being horses, and we're going to try being slow and kind of, sort of, slowish, fastish, and fast. Okay, you ready for this? Let's start off with slow. So, walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country, oh. Whoa, Joe! Stop the horse, stop the horse. Okay. Now we're gonna try being a little faster, so we'll start skipping. Walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country, oh. Whoa, Joe! Good job. Now we're gonna run because we're gonna pretend to gallop like horses. So, walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country, yo. Whoa, Joe! Let's do one more time. Let's go back to walking old, to walking slow, okay? Walking old Joe, walking old Joe, you're the best horse in the country, yo. Whoa, Joe! Let's go on to our next story. Well, because you guys have shown me that you are so smart with your animals, I think that you guys will be able to help me with my with the book I Spy on the Farm, written by Edward Gibbs. Because in this book, we're gonna have to guess what kind of animals we're seeing on the farm. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. I spy with my little eye something yellow that begins with the with the letter D. Hmm. What is something yellow on the farm that begins with a yellow D? Do you know? Let's turn the page to find out. I'm a duck. Little baby duck. How cute. I spy with my little eye something red that begins with an R. Ooh, it makes a sound, cock a doodle doo. Hmm, what animal is red? It begins with the letter R and it makes a sound, cock a, -doodle, cock -a doodle doo. Hmm, do you know? It's a rooster, good job. I spy with my little eye something white that begins with the letter L and it makes the sound ba ba. Hmm. What is white and it begins with the letter L and it makes the sound ba ba? Do you know? It's a lamb. 
which is another word for baby sheep. I spy with my little eye something pink that begins with the letter P and the sound is oink oink. Hmm. What animal goes oink oink? It's a pig. I spy with my little eye something gray that begins with a, with a letter G. And the sound is ma, ma. Hmm. What's gray begins with letter G and goes ma, ma? This is a hard one. Is it a? It's a goat. Good job. I spy with my little eye something black that begins with an H and the sound is nay, nay. Hmm. What animal do you think it is? It has to go nay, nay. It's a horse. A very pretty horse too. I spy with my little eye something brown that begins with the letter C and the sound is moo moo. Hmm. What sound is moo moo and begins with the letter C? Do you know? It's a cow. <laughs> Let's see, what can you spy with your little eye? And you check this out at the library. You can put your finger, you can put your eye through this circle right here. And you can look around and see what every, what all you can spy through this circle. The end. Wow, you did such a good job at figuring out what animals were in our eye spy book. Now, like always, we are going to practice our counting. So I want you to count with me how many squeaky clean piggies you see on my board. Okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five piggies. Oh, hold up. Two fell. Let me say that up there again. Stay, piggy, stay. Let's try this again. Okay, so we have five little piggies, squeaky and clean, the cleanest you've ever seen. They wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. So one jumped in the mud with a great big thud, and now he has dirt all over him. So how many clean piggies do you see? One, two, three, four. We have Four little piggies, squeaky and clean, the cleanest you've ever seen. Oink, oink. They wanted to go outside and play in the mud. So one jumped in with a great big thud. And he has dirt all over him now too. So how many clean piggies do you see? One, two, three. We have three little piggies, squeaky and clean, the cleanest you've ever seen. They wanted to go outside in the mud, oink, oink. So one jumped in with a great big thud. And now there's more mud. So now we have one, two. Two little piggies, squeaky and clean, the cleanest you've ever seen, oink, oink. They wanted to go outside and play in the mud, so one jumped in with a great big thud. Look at all that dirt on that piggy. Now we just have one little piggy, still squeaky and clean, the cleanest you've ever seen. Oink, oink. But he also wanted to go outside and play in the mud, so he jumped in with a great big thud. 
Now, we don't have any clean piggies. They're all covered in mud. Guess I gotta get it back now. <laughs> all right, before we go on to our next story, we are going to do one more rhyme about pumpkins because it is fall time and I'm sure that you have seen all kinds of pumpkins at the grocery stores. Maybe you and your family are even carving pumpkins for Halloween or you're hanging pumpkins somewhere in your house, you're putting pumpkins outside your front door. However it is, of course, if we're going to talk about living on the farm and it's fall time, we have to rhyme with pumpkins. So go ahead, stand up and do what I do. Great big pumpkin on the ground. How did you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small, but now you are a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How did you get so big and round? You wanna do it again? Okay. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How did you get so big and round once you were a seed so small? but now you're a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How did you get so big and round? Let's go on to our last story. For our last story, we're going to read Clip Clop by Nicola Smee. Let's see here. In this book, I see a horse and I see a duck and a pig and a dog and a cat all riding the horse. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. wants a ride asks mr horse me please says cat clip clop clippity clop i want a ride too please mr horse says dog up you get says mr horse clip clop clippity clop what about me? I want a ride too, please, Mr. Horse, says Pig. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. How nice of Mr. Horse to carry all the animals. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. Don't leave me behind, says Duck. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Mm -hmm. a little faster mr horse asks cat and dog and pig and duck of course i can says mr horse but make sure you hold on tight oh no what is gonna happen clippity clop faster faster clippity clop faster faster Clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity. Oh man, he's going so fast. Look how fast he's going. Whoa, stop, we're falling off. Squeal cat and dog and pig and duck. Mr. Hort, Mr. Horse skids to a halt and cat and dog and pig and duck fly through the air. Look at them flying through the air. <laughs> and land in a haystack. Plop, plop, ploppity, plop. Well, at least they had a soft landing. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie me, says worried Mr. Horse. cry cat and dog and pig and duck. <laughs> Looks like they had fun. Up you get, laughs Mr. Horse. And cat and dog and pig and duck go riding off again. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. <laughs> the end. So before I get to our last story, I have a question for you. What kind of car do a lot of farmers drive? Or at least, maybe not all farmers drive this, but most farms have this type of car on the farm. 
Do you know what it is? It's a truck. And just like other farmers, farmer old McDonald likes to drive his truck too. But we have a problem. See, old McDonald needs a new truck. So what does he do? He goes to the truck place with Mrs. Old McDonald because she has a very good opinion on trucks. And they have to figure out a new truck. Well, the salesperson shows them what color of truck does he show them? He shows them a bright red truck. What does old McDonald do? He says, oh no, that won't do. Bring me a truck that is... Blue. No, no, now you're being mean. Bring me a truck that is <clears throat> green. Do you guys want to drive a green truck? No, no, old McDonald says with a gurgle. <clears throat> Bring me a truck that is purple. How about a purple truck? Do you guys want to buy it? Do you guys want to drive a purple truck? I can't drive that bright thing around town. Bring me a truck that is brown. Oh no, this still isn't a truck I had in my head. Bring me a truck that is red. Yes, yes, this truck runs the, wins the race. Why didn't you show me this bright red truck in the first place? So old McDonald and Mrs. McDonald get in their bright red truck and they drive back to the farm. Wow, we've had so much fun today's story time going down the farm. Did you have fun? I know I did. Let's see, we got to learn all about animals with Pete the Cat and we learned their sounds. We got to help figure out what animals we what animals were on the farm through our I Spy book, as well as helped old McDonald pick out a new color for his truck. We got to count piggies that were squealing in the mud. We got to have so much fun. We even got to talk about pumpkins. I say that today's story time was a success. But now I think it's time we've got to go. Just go ahead and stand up and we'll do our goodbye song together. So, I think it's time we've got to go. So wave your elbows and wave your toes. Wave your tongue and wave your nose. Wave your knees and wave your lips. Blow me a kiss from your fingertips. Mwah. Wave your ears and wave your hair. Wave your hips and wave your derriere. Wave your fingers way up high and wave a hand to say goodbye. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for story time and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.